Good morning and welcome to another Daily Devotions with Pastor Joe. I'm Pastor Joe, and this morning we're going to continue in our reading of the Beatitudes. This one is Matthew 5, verse 6. And this is the fourth Beatitude. It says, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. And this is one of the most plain and simple ones to me. I I don't really know how you could misunderstand what it's saying. But it says, Blessed are they which hunger and thirst after righteousness. So, very happy. You're going to be happy if you're hungering and thirsting after righteousness because you will be filled. You're going to be blessed if you hunger and thirst after righteousness because you will be completely filled. So what does it mean here to hunger and thirst after righteousness? Well, have you ever been really hungry? And I mean really hungry. Your stomach's growling. You just don't feel good. You're getting weak. You're getting tired. And every mention of any kind of food just makes your mouth water and you're hungry and you're thirsty for it. Or have you ever been so thirsty that you just felt like you were dying of thirst? Your throat is so dry. Your tongue is dry and sticking to the roof of your mouth and you just feel like you can't go another step without a drink of water. You know, I've been in places where I've felt both ways. Uh, Hungering. Uh, My, I had an uncle at one time that used to say that he felt like you ought to get yourself real starving hungry at least once a week and then get real full. He had a a lot of (laughs) love for food and uh, he, he really enjoyed getting really hungry and then getting filled. There was something about it that just made him so happy to be filled when he was really hungry. And I was just this recently, the last couple of weeks, working at a job site where we were outside, it was hot, it was I was sweating, and we were working so hard. I brought with myself with myself two bottles of water, and I had drank through both of those before it was even close to lunchtime, and I was sweating so much, and the guy I was working with, he said, Oh, I'm dying of thirst. And then he said, well, I guess I'm not really dying of thirst, at least not for a couple more days, but it feels like it. And I said, you know, I understand and I agree. To hunger and to thirst, to really be hungry, to really be thirsty, but not for food, not for water, not for the things of this life and the things of this world, but to hunger after God, to thirst for the living water of Jesus Christ. That's what it's talking about. To be so hungry for God that the things of this world don't matter anymore. You know, when you're hungry to the point you feel like you're starving, you're going to put down a video game, you're going to put down your job, you're going to go and you're going to eat. There's no doubt in my mind that when you're that hungry that you feel like you're just starvingly hungry, you're deeply hungry, you'll stop whatever you're doing and you'll go focus on eating. In fact, whenever I'm hungry, and I mean really hungry, it's hard for me to focus about or think about anything else. I'm sure it's, that's the way that God wants us to be about Him. So hungry for Him. So hungry for having more of Him that we just focus on Him and nothing else. Thirsting. So thirsty for that cool drink of the living water that was promised to the woman at the well. That we would throw our bucket away. That we would give up anything else that was trying to take our time just to focus on Him. So let me ask you, do you uh, thirst after God and hunger after God so much that you go to church wanting and desiring for the preaching, wanting and desiring for a little more of God's Word? Do you hunger and thirst after God so much that you can't help yourself but to get into His Word, at least in some way in the mornings? Do you hunger and thirst after righteousness, after the the things that are right that, that God has proclaimed in His Word, His laws, as the psalmist David would have put throughout Psalm 119, His righteousness, His laws, His, His, His Word, just do you hunger after God that much that everything else doesn't matter, that that is the only thing you can focus on and think about? Because if so, you're on the right track. God has promised that it won't take too long that you will be filled, that you will have the desire of your heart. If your desire is God and His righteousness, you will have that desire of your heart. But you know, this could also go back to what the other uh, earlier Beatitudes were saying. You hunger and thirst after salvation. You come to God saying, God, I want it. God's going to give it to you. 
You come to God for the Holy Spirit, for sanctification, and you say, God, I really want this. God's going to give it to you. Hunger after righteousness, thirst after righteousness. If your priorities are not in the right place this morning, I encourage you to get them in the right place. Talk to God and say, God, I really want you. I just want to want you. He'll fulfill the desires of your heart. God bless. I hope you have a great day today. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with a friend, and have a great day in the Lord.